If only we could watch all our favorite shows in one place. That's good thinking. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shows we wish were on Netflix. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're talking about all shows, new and old, that have won people over worldwide, but are not available on Netflix for one reason or another. However, we'll only be looking at US Netflix. You're not the first person who's ever dreamt it. Number 10, Atlanta. Like are there just some people on earth who are supposed to be here just to make it easier for the winners? It's hard to come up with something truly original these days, but Atlanta is a fantastic attempt. Its unique blend of drama and comedy provides a roller coaster of emotions as we watch the main character's cousin rise as a rap artist in the city of Atlanta. You ain't Paperboy, man! Yeah, I am, you little bit. Paperboy. Series creator and star Donald Glover imbues the show with his signature style, combining comedy with real-life situations expertly, and the chemistry between characters is highly believable. The scripts are witty and intelligently written, and even if this isn't the type of show you normally watch, we guarantee you'll enjoy it if you give it a chance. But you'll have to find it somewhere other than Netflix. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was awesome. You saw, you saw that, right? Number 9. The Big Bang Theory T minus 15 minutes! <laughs> it's tough to take a story revolving around a bunch of stereotypical geeks and make it appealing to an audience of all types, yet The Big Bang Theory succeeds. With the girl next door grounding the group in reality, the drama and comedy unfolds in the most interesting scenarios as our favorite group of geeks finds themselves in various shenanigans. Are you saying that because the things are unspeakable? As the years went on and the core cast grew, we got to observe a gradual change in each of the characters as they open their minds to new ideas, both science-related and everything else. We'd love to chronicle their lives through each episode, uninterrupted. Leonard's mad at me, so I'm making him lemon bars. Number 8. Doctor Who Something's inhibiting my enzymes. We really feel like we're tagging along when the time-traveling alien doctor traverses the galaxy, and the countless adventures he and his friends go on never cease to amaze. With new actors and iterations of the doctor coming to the show every few years, the dynamic and stories never become stale, and the wackiness of new threats and the resurgence of old ones keeps us hooked. Dinosaurs on a spaceship. Episodes can make us laugh, cry, and feel downright terrified. Yep, we're looking at you, Weeping Angels. And while The Doctor was at one time on Netflix, at this particular point in our timeline, he sadly is not. It's all a bit timey-wimey. I'm The Doctor, and I save people. Number 7. Battlestar Galactica You have not heard the last! No more Mr. Nice Guys! With the threat of the Cylons intent on wiping out humanity once and for all, only a small human fleet remains as they traverse the stars looking for the fabled colony of Earth. If that tagline alone doesn't hook you, the mystery and engaging plotlines will. There's only one way that this mission ends, and that's with the successful rescue of our people off a new Caprica. Every character's story leads to something, and even the seemingly smallest of characters matter. Each of the crew brings something unique to the table, and they're all equally interesting to follow. Even when the series sometimes diverts from its high-stakes action-packed episodes for a more spiritual approach, the show is just as exciting to watch. It's a binge waiting to happen, but not on the flicks. I remember everything. Earth, why we're here. Number 6. Modern Family And his moment went on for a really, really long time. With three groups all part of one big family, there's bound to be characters or situations that viewers can relate to. And that's what makes this show so entertaining. Each family member is lovable in their own right. And as dysfunctional as they sometimes are, we can't help but hope that everything works out for them in the end. I saw girl bumps in hair. It was probably just his Chewbacca doll. It's not a doll. It's a plush action figure. The mockumentary-style technique adds to the allure of being really there, which reinforces our feelings towards them. Although episodes often have wild plots, they are never completely unbelievable, and they always highlight the importance of family. We'd love to watch the early episodes again to see how far they've come. Guess we'll have to dig out the DVDs. I do renounce them. Number 5. 
Rick and Morty. Now, if you just stick with me, Morty, we're gonna be, holy crap, Morty, run! Watching Rick and Morty is definitely an interesting experience. A hyper genius scientist and a kid who's just a bit slow make for an entertaining duo, yet they gel together and complement each other beautifully. What's wrong, Rick? Is it the quantum carburetor or something? Quantum carburetor? Jesus, Morty, you can't just add a <coughs> sci fi word to a car word and hope it means something. While it has simple animation, we quickly find that the storylines aren't as simple as they seem. And each strange trip the two go on delves into themes we deal with in our own lives albeit in extreme and stylized ways. Best of all, the gags are side-splittingly funny. A lot of the situations they find themselves in leave audiences with eyes wide open, in a very good way. One out of 10 times it's a deadly trap, but I'm ready to roll those dice. But Netflix audiences need to go elsewhere for their fix. Number four. Fargo. Fargo is one intense series, and one with a staggering amount of shocking moments. It takes a special kind of show to have you laughing your head off one moment, and then leave you slack-jawed with your hands on your head the next. It captures the very essence of the dark comedy genre wonderfully, with an ensemble of great actors and smart writing. Lester, is this what you want? With each season set years apart, the new cast offers refreshing and just as exciting tales set in and around Minnesota. Adventures and mishaps that we'd love to binge on Netflix. I'm giving you till tomorrow to get my money. Five thousand. Number three, Seinfeld. Oh man, I'm on the wrong floor again. This show is hilarious setup after hilarious setup, and that's just one reason why everyone loves it. Each of the characters is a terrible yet relatable person with enough flaws and quirks to keep the conflict and laughs rolling. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't do this. Why? I feel like I'm in bed with my mother. The group found themselves in an almost endless number of scenarios, some of which were outlandish in concept, but you can forgive that because they're handled so masterfully and never fail to make us laugh. You could just do your material. I don't have any material. He's got nothing. Seinfeld has been hailed by many as the funniest sitcom ever, and with good reason. If you haven't seen it yet, you are missing out. Marcy comes over and she tells me that her ex-boyfriend was over late last night and yada, 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 I'm really tired today. Number two, The Simpsons. You tried your best and you failed miserably. The lesson is never try. They've been on the air since 1989 and there's no end in sight but they're still not on Netflix. If you asked 100 people who their favorite Simpsons character was, it would be a roughly even split, which is a testament to the writing and the way viewers relate to the show. Uh, you little Stop fighting! Mom, that's not how you pry them apart. Each situation they get into is more far out than the last, with laughs to be had the whole way through. As with any good family-based show, there are enough tender moments to match the comedic ones in The Simpsons. And with over 600 episodes, there would be no better platform than Netflix to get your binging fix. Homie, I think someone is saying hello. Hello. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I love you too. It's time f for me to um, get some birth control. Why didn't God help my innocent friend who died for no reason while the guilty roam free? Number one, all of HBO's catalog. I'm not going to stop the wheel. I'm going to break the wheel. HBO has set an unprecedented standard by constantly releasing shows that don't just focus on mature themes, but also tell wild, gritty, and compelling stories like no one else. You think I did it? I don't think anything. No other network can deliver the big budget, cinema quality experience to the small screen like HBO. Its budgets and the talent they draw present us with unparalleled viewing experiences. With fantastical shows like Game of Thrones and Westworld, down to the gritty and realistic crime shows like True Detective and The Sopranos, there's something for everyone. He can't have you clip someone in this condition. But if you're hoping to catch up on any of them, Netflix sadly leaves you SOL. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.